What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the custom dream home build series where I'm building this 3,700 square foot house as an owner builder and I'm also building my very own pool in my backyard right out those two doors which I'm starting in about a week as an owner builder so I'm very excited about that but in this video I'm going to be starting and finishing the polished concrete flooring for all of the first level of this house, which makes up about 3,100 square feet of this 3,600 or 3,700 square foot house. And we're gonna be somehow using this giant machine to grind down the floors and polish them. So this is my very first time doing this kind of flooring. And I'm excited, of course, to see how the finished product is gonna turn out. But I'm also more excited to see what process we have to go through to take these bare concrete floors down to the polished finished floor product. So let's get into the video. This is James, the flooring specialist, and he was kind of walking me through the process and I haven't really been here for much of it. So um, I guess the very first thing he did was clean the floors very well. Yep. and then got on the big the big machine with the 200 grit yep. uh, that has i guess what's on the bottom of those blades or so whatever it's a it's a trowel machine that we took the trowel blades off and mm -hmm. we had special discs mounted underneath it and it's velcro underneath okay and we have eight heads underneath that machine and then we we that's where we load three to four diamonds on each head so mm -hmm. you could either have 24 or 36 diamonds on there okay. at a time. I think whenever I, I, I had some other bids other than from Jeremy and they uh, they were they didn't have a rider that they told me that they told they told me they had a push one with a like a square one. I have six of them. Okay, but this one is preferred. You like I it? like this one because okay. it gets work done faster. Yep. You're able to go over the floor more times. The other machines are just really really slow, and I don't have. Did, so, I, I don't have 32 diamonds running at once. Okay, either. I got you. So you got the real deal then. Yeah. That, I also thought they told me it was on propane. Is that right or no? That that is on a propane. Oh, that one's on a yep. propane. Okay. And then you. I have I have some some of my walk behind grinders are propane, and, and then I have some that are electric. Okay, got it. So you uh, cleaned it. You did two full passes with the 200 grit diamonds. Yep. Which is diamonds. Which essentially just grinds the floor down, right? Yep. I mean, that's what this whole process is, grinding the floor? Yeah. Okay. It's like uh, diamond, diamond, concrete diamond polish is like, uh, kind of like wood. You start rough and you go to a finer and finer grit with multiple passes to get to like a smooth marble type finish. Okay. I had all those options of what kind of finish do I want to do and being that this is my first time, I didn't really know where to start. So I just kind of elected to go on what I felt was the safer side, which was just a what a lower sheen yeah. lower grind um, i didn't want them to grind all the way down into the floor and expose all of the rocks and aggregates that are below this cement kind of um, so i just wanted like a kind of matte finished floor so if i would have went any further than if i would have did 800 or 1600 grit i guess it would look like glass right absolutely okay yeah. and this is going to be fairly Maddish, yeah. maddish yeah. finish. Yeah. You'll see cool. reflection. You'll okay. see like tree, bit. trees and stuff reflecting, okay, cool. but it, it'll be kind of muted a bit. Okay, got it. So they grinded with 200, two passes, and then you switched to the 400 diamonds, yep. which you just did maybe the first pass. Have you did a, you did a pass in here, yeah? I've done two passes Okay, you did two passes that. in here. So you did, you're doing and did two passes with the 400 grit. Um, at which point you also kind of patch these little minor imperfections wherever they were where the framer happened to shoot nails down into the cement to brace the frame whenever they're doing the frame and being that it was my first time I didn't have the knowledge to say hey don't do that so now I have a little bit of imperfections in my slide but that's okay it's just part of the uh, the character. polish yeah part of the character you know I always know that hey that mistake kind of cost me and I won't do it again <laughs> so um, one more question for you I kind of elected to, uh, I kind of elected to go with the upgraded option of the polish instead of what you were maybe referring to the the just the regular stain where you kind of grind it and stain it and whatever. Yeah. Um. So would you say that is how much more 
cost effective percentage wise into a polish the polish is the upgraded good stuff not really going to scratch not really going to damage right right whereas just a top coat stain or whatever that is that like 70 percent of the cost of this 50 percent what would you kind of say i'd say it's about 50 percent. so about 50 yeah. percent. yeah okay well and then you're you're all of your stuff is in your house and then you need to recoat your floors yeah, that becomes understood. A, a nuisance. Yeah, well, I'm happy with the decision I made this far. I'm ready to see the finished product. Y'all are doing a good job. Thanks. Keep it up. Good luck. Day and all of the polished floors are finished and they are fully covered with these four by eight sheets of T-ply that is gonna keep them protected throughout all the rest of the construction because as you can see, I'm just now getting started on the interior finishes and there is still a lot of work that needs to get done and honestly, a lot of messy work, especially drywall, which is gonna be starting very soon. We're gonna be hanging drywall on all these walls and whenever they do the level five with the mud they're very messy contractors so it's important to keep all these floors protected throughout the rest of construction so they don't get damaged and also so they don't get stained with any chemicals the flooring contractor that did these polished floors he told me if you get any of the purple plumbing primer on these floors that it will permanently stain the stained concrete floors or the polished concrete floor. So I'm gonna to try to refrain from damaging the finished floors. Um, although I'm curious because if I do cause damage, I'm curious if he will be able to come in and grind it down further and make like a patch. I'm sure it will be noticeable um, and it will stick out like a sore thumb, but I'm curious if that is, if that is possible because I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep these things perfectly protected throughout the rest of construction because there is still probably two months left of things we need to do and on this build, you can see the status. Got a long ways to go before this job is finished. So I decided to do polished floors on this build for probably three main reasons. Reason number one is for style. This is somewhat of a modern, sleek, modern uh, Scandinavian house, and it's gonna just have a modern look, and it's gonna have gray tones all throughout, um, gray tones, tan tones, and then white, of course, on the sheetrock. And I believe, and my wife is also acting as like the interior designer and exterior designer on this project. She has pretty good uh, taste in those kind of things. So we believe that the polished concrete floors would achieve that uh, design and style that we're going for on this home build, which again is modern. So that's the first reason. The second reason we decided to do polished concrete flooring on this home build is probably affordability, because if you look at the spectrum cost of all the flooring options out there, I would not say it is the cheapest, but of course you're not gonna put the cheapest flooring option in a home like this, but it's definitely not on the upper end. So I would say, you know, on the level one to 10, it's probably on the level two or level three low end of the spectrum. So I ended up paying $3.75 a foot for this flooring and we'll talk about the total cost here in a second but i know that you can install something comparable like a luxury vinyl plank a vinyl flooring somewhere in the 
$3.50 range up to the probably five, six, seven dollar range. And then if you get into tile, it's probably in the five to eight dollar per foot range. And if you get into glue down hardwood floors, it could be even higher than that. So I would say this is definitely a economical floor option. And then again, we love the look of it. So that's uh, the second reason why we chose polished concrete flooring. And the third and final reason we chose polished concrete flooring on this home build is because of its durability and also its low level of maintenance needed to keep up with it. So currently we have one one-year-old baby. We also have two dogs. And then we also have another baby on the way that's gonna be here in a couple months. And then hopefully several babies come in there after that. And if you know anything about kids or dogs, they will pretty much destroy anything because that's just what they do. So having polished concrete flooring is going to be very durable for my family and also for my pets. And we're not gonna have any problems or have to do any repairs in the future, hopefully with this polished concrete floor at least, that's what I'm expecting. So that's the third reason we chose polished concrete flooring. Okay, now for the cost of the polished concrete flooring on this home build. And this invoice is broken down into two costs. The first one being for the actual polished concrete floors and the second one being for the labor and material to cover all the flooring with this T-ply, which I hate that I had to pay so much to cover all this flooring just to protect it because at the end of the day, all this stuff's just gonna get ripped up and thrown in the dumpster. And it's not necessarily an investment that I'm making that is going to be improving the house. Instead, it's just a temporary investment that's just gonna get ripped up and thrown in the trash because I had to protect the flooring. So now for the cost. There were a total of 3,004 square feet on the bottom level of this house. I thought it was like 3,200 originally, but they have one here, 3,004 square feet um, for a rate of $3.75 per foot. And that came out to a total of $11,265 for all of the polished concrete flooring process. Moving on, 3,004 square feet of covered T-ply for a price of $1 a foot. I paid a total of $3,004 to cover and protect all of this concrete flooring. And again, that's something that I'm kind of disgusted I had to pay. And honestly, I probably could have did it a lot cheaper if I would have taken the time to buy the material, send it out here, find someone else to cover it. But I ain't got time to try to do all that. So I just paid the same contractor $3,004 to cover it and protect the flooring and be done with it and not have to worry about it for the rest of the build. So that is the cost breakdown on the polished concrete flooring. Overall, I'm very happy that I chose to go with this flooring because I learned a special kind of flooring. I learned about the process and it's something I learned. I met a contractor that I can use on future builds. And this is probably a type of flooring that you will see me doing on probably all my builds to come in the foreseeable future because I really like the durability. There's no repairs, especially if I do it in a uh, rental property, there's gonna be no repairs needed on the flooring. Um, also, it looks great. It matches our style and many other reasons. Overall, I'm very happy with the decision I made to go with polished concrete floors on this home build. I'm very happy that I got to learn a new process of how to go from a bare, raw concrete slab to a finished, polished, concrete floor. I'm very happy that I was able to meet a new subcontractor that I can use to do all the polished concrete flooring on my future builds to come. And then lastly, I'm very happy with how they turned out and I can't wait to see this whole house finished and then see my polished concrete floors right there. So that wraps up today's video. As always, if you guys are looking to learn how to build your own house, then click the link down below in the description. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.